We've made it to the second day of January 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Rothina Sejin. These are the stories making the headlines across the country. Starting off the bulletin, the story from Ringo District, where five members of the same family were killed on sport in a crash involving three vehicles along the massacre Mbara Highway near Chazanga Town in Rengo district. Now the dead included a father and his children. Lamek Chigozi, a police spokesman for Greater Masaka, say the accident occurred at about 9.30 p.m. on Sunday. It involved a Rwandan registration land cruiser RAD-009L, which was carrying seven people. Those who were killed are Dr. Livingstone Chimbugwe, ba uh, Biamungu, and his four children, including twins. Now his car moving from Rwanda collided with a trailer. The accident also involved a Swift Safaris bus UAU 398M which was moving from Barara to Kampala. According to Jigozi, two occupants of the car who survived were rushed to a nearby healthy center and were later moved to Masaka Faro Hospital. The bodies are all, were also taken to the same facility. Now the trailer driver Alex Kakande sustained a broken arm. Let us move on to Lira district where an intruder suspected to, uh, suspected to be a burglar was on Monday shot dead by a security guard at the home of Otuke MP Julius Achorn. Now Akoni's home is located in Senior Quarters B Central Division in Lira Municipality. The family was away in Otuku celebrating the coming of the new year. The suspect had reportedly climbed over a perimeter wall shortly before midnight and was trying to break into the servants' quarters when he was held at gunpoint by the security guard. Neighbors said they had gunshots at the home shortly before midnight. The security guard, who identified himself as Jimmy Duke, said he tried to engage the intruder but he declined to drop uh, the sledgehammer he was carrying. Now Duke said he shot the intruder when he refused to surrender the armor. The security guard said he had gone to release the dog when he heard noise over the perimeter wall. You're still watching the news around Uganda. Let us take a break and look at what is making the headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. If you cannot access the hard copy of the new vision, the link is on your screen. Subscribe to our e paper and you can access all the products published by Vision Group. Also, just download the Vision Group e paper app from your phone and access all the products uh, published by Vision Group for free from. Actually, this is going on till the 6th of January. So take, Jan, uh, take a charge of this opportunity and access the Vision Group products. I am Ruth Inasaji, still watching the news around Uganda. Let's continue looking at the more stories making the headlines across the country. Now we go to Karuma. Now two people died on sport, while three others were rushed to Popo John Hospital uh, by Inoyam district after a lorry they were traveling on overturned at Karuma Bridge. Now the Mitsubishi Fuso lorry, registration number UAN 533U, loaded with charcoal, overturned on Gulu Kampala Highway in Karuma in Nwoya district a few meters to Karuma Bridge. The incident occurred at around 11 a.m. while they were traveling from Acholi Subbridge and heading to Kampala. Traffic police from Oyam district headed to Chamtai Basiti and traffic police from Dima in Chidiandongo district rushed to the scene. The driver Ronald Eiro from Kamuli District and Hassan Kafir from Luweri Town Council died on sport. However, Patrick Sega was 39 years, the owner of the truck, and Chako sustained minor injuries on his right leg. 
Closing off the bulletin is a story from Wakiso district where Dennis Tumwes, the popularly known as Zansanze, left the farm he was working at as a casual laborer on Saturday, only to be found dead on Monday afternoon. Tumwes's body dumped in a bushy dish in Nabinonia Road a few meters off Entebbe Road. So to be in his 30s, Tumwes was working at a church farm found in Kisubi Missionary Cell, Katar town council in Wakiso district. Now according to Matovu, Tumwe CJ was known to consume a lot of alcohol and would spend several days away from his quarters at the farm. You've been watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Remember you can get more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website which is www.newvision.co.ug. You can also follow us on our social media platforms. Facebook is the New Vision, Twitter is at New Vision Wire, Instagram is at New Vision Wire and our YouTube channel is New Vision TV. Catch up with me on my Twitter handle. I am Rothy The Voice. Happy New Year.